and Chairman Ting is set to have tendered in his resignation on Thursday, January 5, to President Akufuado there. Now, the resignation letter was accepted by the president through news.com has gathered Alan Chairman Ting has in the past contested the new patriotic party flag bearership race losing on all occasions to Nana Akufu Addo. Now in 2007 he had to concede defeat preventing a third round of voting at the University of Ghana Legon where the infamous 17 candidates including the then vice president Alhaji Aliu Mahama contested for the race. Chairman Ting's fortunes have since dwindled as his votes keep reducing at each attempt, failing to contest at all when nominations closed in 2020. Now, the former Ghana ambassador to the U.S. is, however, tipped to return to the race and uh, begin his campaign for the primaries later this year as the ruling party is set to nominate a new candidate for the 2024 polls as President Akufado finishes his mandatory eight-year term. Vice President Al Haji Dr. Muhammadu Baumia will be his greatest rival as many party bigwits have tipped him to be the new face for the MPP on the ballot paper. Others like Kennedy, Ohonile Japon and Kwabina, J. Japon, former Energy Minister Bwachi Ejakum, and the former Mampo lawmaker Francis Adai Nimo have also declared their intentions to contest the presidential primaries. Meanwhile, a section of the public have been reacting to developments from the MPP's stronghold in the Ashanti region. My colleague William Evans Inkum has more. <laughs> In 2007, 2010, and 2014, a man whose political life has largely centered on trade and investment has stepped down. There is speculation that he will be vying for the flag bearership position of the ruling New Patriotic Party. If that happens, that would have been his fourth. But this time around, he wouldn't be contesting against somebody who he has contested with for the three consecutive times, His Excellency Nana Dodankwe Kufuado, because he has served his term as a president and is almost going out. But Alan's call to lead the party has been very strong in the Ashanti region, even though there are competition from the vice president, His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, to those who votes for the MPP. What do they make of Alan's resignation? I think, uh, to me, it's long overdue. We were expecting this resignation long ago. And it has also come in due time, because we at least have a year to prepare for the primaries. He has also made a mark in the government. So as he has an ambition to serve the nation, it's very good for him to come out. Alan Chamantin is a minister, although he's working under the president. And even this one is not, it's not official. I think now that he has sent the letter to the Jubilee House, he's waiting for the approval or the acceptance of the president. But I know whether we like it or not, it will be accepted. So we are all happy. This is what we were all waiting for. Whatever the case may be, one thing is for sure, that Alan Kwadio Chemantin is yet to make public or official his intent to contest for the flag bearership position of the ruling New Patriotic Party. William Evans Sinkum, TV3 News, Kumasi.